Script arithmetic topic was uh, uh, initially used by uh, Illitmus exam, and later it started coming in Infosys only because this is one of the topic in which they can truly, truly check the talent of any 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 candidate instead of just uh, uh, the candidate preparing and then doing well. They can actually check the talent of anyone because this topic is the only one where you cannot apply any shortcut. It's just that you have to think about the logic behind any question and then from that itself you have to solve it okay and that's why uh, infosys also started using it and slowly i feel uh, most of the companies will start using it okay so let's start with the topic i'm going to start with the addition type of question first and later we'll move on to multiplication we'll take some example for multiplication also okay in most of the channels or most of the videos you'll just watch the addition type of questions but some question in in infosys might come from multiplication also okay it might come so we'll not give up we'll not uh, hope that it doesn't come we'll prepare for the worst and hope for the best so let's prepare that also okay let's go to the topic now i want you to understand what are the logic behind it if you have ever played the sudoku game if you ever played sudoku game in Sudoku, just a moment. All right. So I was telling in Sudoku, you might have played. What we normally do, uh, uh, low IQ people, how they solve, they actually try to solve by using hit and trial. Okay. There are some rules in Sudoku. By following that, people try by using hit and trial. We can do that. Nobody is stopping us. Okay. We can do that. But there's one problem there. The problem is by hit and trial, if the question is very, very easy, we can get the answer within two minutes. But if it is medium level or tough level question, we might solve up to six square, seven square, but last few square, when it is left out, you will be stuck there. And after that, you keep on trying for whole day and still you will not get the answer. Okay. Being an engineer, being talented, we cannot depend on the, the shortcuts. We cannot depend on the hidden trial. We have to depend on the pure logic, pure logic by which 100% sure we will always get the answer. There's no risk there. Okay. So we will do only by logic, although it might take a bit more time than the hit and trial, but there's 100% surety that we always get the answer. Okay. So that's why we'll follow this only. Okay. Let's go to the logic behind it. Point number one, the last digit, the last digit cannot be zero. The last digit cannot be zero. Okay. Uh, if we take a, a question, if we take a number, let's say it is 234. It is a three digit number. The third digit is, uh, first digit is two, right? But if it is 034, 034, is this a three digit number? No, it becomes a two digit number because zero cannot come at the first place, right? Same thing here. If it is a three digit number, because the question represents ABC is a three digit number, X5 is a two digit number and PQR is a three digit number because question represents that. So A cannot be zero because if A becomes zero, ABC will become a two digit number. So A cannot be zero. X cannot be zero, P cannot be zero. So that's the first point, first logic. AXP cannot be zero. Okay. And apart from that, every letter has a unique value. What does it mean? Let's say by, by some logic, I found A is one. I'm just telling randomly A is one. Once you have found that A is one throughout this question, only this question. Okay. Not, not, do not continue to the next question. Also throughout this question, A will every time be one only everywhere. It will be one only. 
okay and b cannot be one c cannot be one x cannot be one y cannot be one p cannot be one q cannot be one r cannot be one. nothing else can be one except a a has a unique value similarly every letter will have a unique value okay no other letter can take the same value okay not only that not only that the also because every letter is a unique value and there are total 10 digits only 0 1 2 up to 9 total 10 digits are there the maximum types of letters we can use in one question is 10 letter only we cannot use more than 10 letter because only 10 digits are available so maximum 10 types of letters we can use in one question okay that was first two logic Again, let me repeat, every letter is unique and uh, the first letter cannot be zero. Next, can C be zero? Let me think. If C is zero, zero plus two is two, zero plus three is three, zero plus four is four, means zero plus anything will become the same thing. But is it same? Let me see. C plus Y is not Y. Can you see? It's not Y. And because C plus Y is not Y, that's why C is not zero. C cannot be zero. And similarly, if Y is also zero, if Y is also zero, C plus zero was supposed to be C only. But because this is also not C, that's why Y can also not be zero. As you can see here, C cannot be zero, Y cannot be zero. R can be zero. Because if C is 2 and Y is 8, 2 plus 8, 10, 0 can come. Y, R can be 0. But C and Y cannot be 0. I hope it is fine to everyone. I will not be repeating the same concept because it's video. And you can watch it again. If you're not understanding, you can go back and watch the same video once again from the same point, starting from the same point. So I don't need to repeat it again. Okay. I'll move on to the next point. All right. So C and Y cannot be zero. What if it is C plus C is C? C plus C is C. In that case, let me think. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Three plus three is six. It is becoming different, right? Two plus two is becoming four, not two. It's not two. Three plus three, three is not three, it is six. But in which case it is going to be same digit when added, we are also getting the same digit. 0 plus 0 is 0. That is possible only when C is 0. There is no other possibility. C can only be 0. Okay. So here, the only possibility is C has to be 0. Okay. As you can see here, C has to be only 0. No other possibility. Okay, next, what if I write, uh, instead of uh, C being at the end, what if it is like ACB plus CX is equal to PCQ? Forget about this, just look at this one, C plus C is C. C plus C is C. How is that possible? In which case it is possible? That is only possible when c can be either 0, because we know 0 plus 0 is 0. Is there any other possibility if it is in between? I feel yes. See this. If there was a carry on this, just in case, if there was a carry on this, from b and x, the carry is coming, okay? So if there was a carry on this, and c was 9, 9 plus 9, 18, plus 1, 19. In that case, also, we are getting the same digit. So when C is in between and there is C plus C is equal to C, in that case, on one more possibility is there, that is C can be nine. So if it is in between, then there are two possibility. Here you can see B is in between and B plus B is B. So I've written B can be either zero or nine. Both are possible. You will have to check two possibility. B can be zero and B can be nine. Okay, 
Let's move on. How about this? ABC plus XY equal to PQR. Now, whenever you see, there are some extra letters protruding out, okay, which is clearly visible. It is more than XY. Okay, P is more than XY, A is more than XY. It, in that case, it helps a lot. Question becomes easy. How? A plus nothing. There's nothing there here, right? It's in front of XY, there's nothing there. There's no first letter there. Means uh, X was the first letter. There's nothing before that. So A plus nothing is P. How is that possible? A plus nothing was supposed to be A only. Means four plus zero is four only. 5 plus 0 is 5 only. 5 plus nothing is 5 only. Okay. So why it is different? There's only one possibility. There has to be a carry here. 1 plus A has to be. This is the only possibility. 1 plus A will be different. Okay. And in that case, you can say, in that case, you can say, P will be equal to A plus 1. Because there was a carry there. What does it mean? I have written P equal to A plus one. What, what does it signify? What can we deduct from this? The deduction out of this is A and P, A and P are consecutive numbers. Consecutive numbers. How does it help? Let's say we have all the digits, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, Nine randomly, I'm taking one example, okay, in which zero and nine already taken, two is taken, four is taken, six is taken. Only five, three, one, three, five, seven, eight are remaining. Now I know A and P have to be consecutive number. Now, if you look at the remaining possibility, although there are total five digits available, but if you look at the consecutive number, there's only one set available, seven, eight. So without doing anything, I can say A is 7 and P is 8. Done. Easily, so easily we got the answer. Means we will have to check the less number of possibility. And even if 6 was available, just in case, let's say 5 was gone, 6 was available. In that case also, there are only two possibility. A, AP, 6, 7 or AP, 7, 8. Two possibility. So in that case, AP can be AP can be either 6, 7 or 7, 8. Only two possibility. So still only two possibility. We will check the two possibility and one of them will get us the right answer. That's it. So question becomes easy. Okay. So this is the second point. First we know there is a carry there and then we can write P is equal to A plus 1. Okay. That is one thing. But why did I write B plus X equal to 10 plus Q? Let's understand that well. See this. 9 plus 8 is 17. 17, okay? So there are some digits here. There, there are some, some digits here. In between, the 9, 8 is there. So when I add 9 plus 8, I get 17. But in between, will I be writing 17? Or will I be writing just 7 there? So what happens to the remaining 10? Because 9 plus 8 was 17, not 7. What happens to the remaining 10? That remaining 10 becomes the carry 1 to the next digit. Okay. If it was 27, some other example, okay. If it was 27, 7 will be written and 20 will become carry plus 2 to the next digit. If it was 37, 7 will be written and 30 will become plus 3 carry to the next digit. Okay. So 10 will become carry plus 1, 20 will become carry plus 2, 30 will become carry plus 3, 40 will become carry plus 4 and so on. Okay. It will go on like this. Carry will go on like this. So we know if 9 plus 8 is 7, Definitely it is not just seven. Nine plus eight was 10 plus seven. Okay. If in the question they have given, if in the question they have given like this, nine plus eight is seven in between. Okay. In between. 
that definitely means 9 plus 8 is not 7 9 plus 8 is 10 plus 7 because it is sending a carry plus 1 but in that case the reverse must also be true if carry plus 1 was there carry plus 1 is already there i know that in that case i also know in the previous digit this must be more than 10 because if it is more not more than 10 this carry won't come it will not come okay same thing here if carry plus 1 is already there how did it come definitely b plus x must have been more than 10 and that's what i'm written here b plus x is more than 10 this actually means b plus x is b plus x have to be more than or equal to 10 that's what it means how does it help us see in this topic we are actually checking all the possibility okay so many possibility we have to check and we have to try to reduce the number of possibility so that you have to check less possibility to get the answer so by writing all these points we are actually trying to reduce the number of possibility limit the number of possibility that's all we are doing so when we write b plus x greater than 10 we are actually trying to limit the number of possibility for b and x because i will not be checking smaller numbers because 2 plus 3 is less than 10 i will not be checking 2 plus 4 or 3 plus 4 i will only be checking 3 plus 8 4 plus 7 4 plus 8 i will only be checking bigger numbers for which the sum is more than 10 more than or equal to 10 i will only be checking the larger sum larger possibility not the smaller possibilities that's how it helps us i hope this one is clear let's move on all right let's say there are two digits protruding out okay clearly visible clearly more than yz okay in that case question becomes even more easier how say this a and p are not equal right a plus nothing is p definitely there has to be a carry here we know that so first i'll write uh, a uh, p equal to a plus one carries there that's the first thing next thing again in front of b also nothing is there so b how can it become q how can it become q definitely there was a carry here also 1 plus b was q but for what possibility of b 1 plus b is greater or equal to 10 let me check what is the possibility b has to be a digit right b has to be a digit so what's the possibility if i take 1 plus 4 that becomes 5 less than 10 if i take 1 plus 6 1 plus 7 1 plus 8 it is still less than 10. The only possibility we can take for B is 1 plus 9, which becomes 10. That's the only possibility. There is no other possibility. And that's why there has to be a carry here also. B has to be 9. Q has to be 0. There is no other possibility. There is no other possibility. So we got two more values. Q has to be 9. Q has to be 0. And B has to be 9. Okay, see this here, I've written everything clearly. There has to be a carry here. There has to be a carry here. Okay. All right, let's move on. Now let's talk about the carry. I've written here, but let me explain also. If you add two numbers, two digits, means two numbers are there. If you add them, the maximum it can become is 19. It can never ever become 20, okay? Nine plus nine is 18, 18 only. But even if carry was there, just in case carry was there, still one plus nine plus nine, it can maximum become 19 only. It can never ever become 20. And because maximum it can become 19, so, the only maximum carry it can send is plus one. So when we add two numbers, the maximum carry it can send is 
plus one. When we add three numbers, nine, 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 you can see it can send a carry plus two. When we add four numbers, nine, 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 it can send a maximum carry of plus three and so on. But that is maximum I'm telling. And the other possibility will be when maximum is one, all the possibilities are zero and one. When maximum is two, the possibilities are zero, one, two. And when the maximum is three, the possibilities are zero, one, two, three. So you'll have to check so many possibilities. All right, let's move on. Okay, in the previous question, if you remember, previous question, uh, we have already got, this is not here, this is supposed to be here. We have already got uh, a, there was a carry here, carry here, B was nine and Q was zero. Once you have found that, okay, I, I suggest you to do this on the paper, okay, so that you can use the pencil. I, we, we need to use the pencil to save our time, okay? Now, once you find B is nine and Q is zero, I'll cross that. Cross means this is sure shot. I cannot change it. B has to be nine only throughout this question and Q has to be zero only. Once you have found that, I crossed it. Then I have no other logic. So I'll start checking the possibility now. Now, when I have to take D and Z, I'll check, okay, let's say D is one and Z is two. Then S will be three. This way, I will be checking the possibility. When I'm checking the possibility, I will underline this. This should look different from the values which you have got sure shot. This is checking the possibility and this is sure shot value. So they, they should be clearly visible. They should be clearly differentiable. So I should be able to understand that this is not a sure shot answer. I'm only checking it. Now what happens? Let's say after, after checking D equal to one and Z equal to two, somehow in between I, I got stuck and I found this is wrong. This assumption is wrong. In that case, I'll come back, erase this, erase this, I'll erase this one, this possibility. And again, I will start from, let's say D equal to one and Z equal to two, then S is four. And this way I will check one by one, I'll check all the possibility. So while checking the possibility, just underline by using pencil so that we can erase it later and check the next possibility. Okay. So these are the logics we have to apply to get the answer. Now let's apply all this in few examples so that you understand how to apply it. Okay. Let's take one example. After two years. Okay. So the first point I wrote here, the first point I want to write here is A, T, Y cannot be zero and also R, O cannot be zero. Do you remember? The first digit cannot be zero. And if R is zero, then zero plus O was supposed to be O. But because this is not O, so that's why R, O, both of them cannot be zero. So this is the first point I'll write. Next point. There has to be a carry over A. Otherwise, uh, A plus nothing will not become Y. It was supposed to be A only. But because this is different, that means definitely there is a carry here. And then I can write 1 plus A has to be Y, which means A comma Y have to be consecutive number. You can understand that. A and Y have to be consecutive number. Next. Again, F plus nothing is E. So definitely there has to be carry on that also. So you can say one plus F is equal to E. And also it has to be able to send a carry to A. That is only possible if F is nine. That is only possible if F is nine. So we know now F is nine, E is zero. Okay, this much we know. Next, now if there's a carry here, T plus T was supposed to be greater or equal to 10. Now let's check what are the possibilities. If 2T has to be more than 10, T can only be 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 is already taken. 
9 is already taken so there's no need to take 9 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 9 is already taken so there's no need to take 9 okay remaining digits are 0 and 9 already taken now if you remember i i told you to write like this right there's one more reason behind writing all this in front of us okay the, the thing is, this question is so lengthy, time taking and, and involving that you will be so much thinking about each and every condition. You will be checking so many conditions that you will forget what you have already found. You'll miss it. Even I make this mistake sometimes. Okay. You'll miss it. You'll forget what is already found. Now, what, what's the benefit of writing everything in front of you? Everything is visible. Zero and nine is already gone. Now, the mistake which I normally people make in exam, you are so much worried about the next possibility that you will forget that zero and nine is already found. And in that case, for R and O also, I will be checking, can R be zero? Can R be nine? I will be wasting my time checking the possibility which is already found. Okay, I should not be checking that. So when I'm checking zero, R equal to zero, R equal to nine also, I'm actually wasting my time. But if I write it in front of me all the time, now I know when I'm checking for R, I will not be checking zero, I will not be checking nine because that is already found. That's how it helps us. So you should be writing each and every point in front of you. This will help you, okay? Now zero and nine already found. So I have to check larger values, right? But less than nine because nine is already found. So T can only be five, six, seven, eight. Now, listen, T can also not be 5 because if T becomes 5, if T becomes 5, in that case, 5 plus 5 will become, 5 plus 5 will become 10. A will become 0. But as you can see, 0 is already gone. 0 is not available. That means A cannot be 0. So T cannot be 5. So the possibility of 5 is also not allowed here. It cannot be five also just a minute it cannot be five also all right so it cannot be five so the smallest possibility for t is six let's start from that i'll be checking each and every possibility let's start from from t equal to 6, t equal to 6. So 6 plus 6 is 12. Okay, a is 2. Now, if a is 2, y will become 3. Now, let's write each and everything here. e was already 0. Okay, fine. Now, 2, 3, and 6 is already checked. Okay. Now also see, E was 0, right? So 0 plus W is R. How is that possible? 0 plus W was supposed to be W. So there was supposed to be a carry here also. That means R plus O is also supposed to be bigger than 10. Now, R plus O can be what? Let me check. 4 plus 7, 11. 1 is still available, all right. 4 plus 8, 12. S will be 2. But... A is already 2. 2 is not available. So it cannot be 4 plus 8. See, only possibility we can take is 4 plus 7. 11. But R is 4. If R is 4, W was supposed to be 3. So that 1 plus 0 plus 3 was supposed to be 4. Right? So W was supposed to be 3. But you can see 3 is already taken. Y is already 3. That means this assumption is wrong. This is not possible. This is getting stuck here. Okay. So our assumption t equal to 6 itself was wrong. Let's go back to that and start the next possibility. t equal to 6 was wrong. So let me just erase it once. t equal to 6 was wrong. Okay. Let's go back and start checking the next possibility. All right. Now, 
let's take t equal to 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. a is 4. And if a is 4, y will be 5 because they have to be consecutive. Now, uh, if uh, what are the things already gone? 7 is gone. 4 is gone. 5 is gone. Okay. Now, what is available? 1, 2, 3, 6, 8. But can R and O have to be more than 10, right? So can we take 2 plus 6 or 2 plus 8? No, because our S cannot be 0. So the only possibility we can take is 3 plus 8. Okay. So 3, 8. 3 and 8 is also gone. R is 3. Once R is 3, 1 plus 0 plus what will be 3? W will be 2 now. 1 plus 0 plus 2 will be 3. So W will be 2. 2 is still available. Got the answer. Got the answer. So just by looking at all the condition, keeping all the conditions in mind and checking the few possibility which is left out, which is possible, we are getting the answer. Now here, there's no shortcut. What, I, what we did is first we dot, wrote all the points, logics behind it. Then I checked T can only be 5, 6, 7, 8, out of which 5 was also not available. So now T has only three possibility, 6, 7, and 8. I checked all three. One of them got us the answer. That's it. That's what you have to do. Now, the problem is most of the time, if the question is slightly tough, easy one, you will get it. But if the question is slightly medium level or tough level, now what happens in that you will you'll have to check five possibility or six possibility. But most of the time, the limit is three only. By the time people reach the third possibility, by the time you're checking the third possibility, you'll get so tired and, and frustrated that you'll think, okay, now it's not possible. This question is very, very tough. I cannot solve it. And you'll give up. But maybe if you would have checked the fourth possibility only, you might have got the answer. Maybe the fourth possibility is the answer. So you should not be giving up. You should not be stopping. Keep on trying. Maybe fourth possibility, maybe fifth possibility, maybe six, but answer has to come. One of them will definitely give you the answer. You should not be stopping. Okay. Let's take a few more questions. Let's try this one. Okay. The first point again, I will write S cannot S, D, B, and Y, O cannot be zero. That's the first point. Next point, there has to be a carry here, which means B has to be S plus one. And C can only be nine, U can only be zero. So, and there has to be carry on this also. Okay, next, O plus D has to be more than 10, more than 10. O plus D has to be more than 10. Okay. Now O plus D more than 10. What are the possibility? What are the larger numbers for O and D in such a way that some will be greater or equal to 10? Okay, let me think. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. 0 and 9 is already gone. 1, 8 not possible. 2, 8 not possible because 0 is already gone. 2 plus 8 becomes 10. All right. And you might be thinking maybe carry is there. So 1 plus 2 plus 8, that is also not possible because if I have already taken O is 2, then 2 plus 2 will be 4. It will not send a carry. Let me repeat. If I have taken O equal to 2, 2 plus 2 will be 4. It will not send a carry. All right. So uh, it, it cannot be 2 plus 8. So the smallest possibility is 3 plus 8. So O can be smallest value 3, largest value 8, and D can be largest value 8, smallest value 3. These are the possibility for O and D. Smallest 3, largest 8. Okay. Let me start from first one. O, D, 3, 8. Then I'll go to O, D.
फोर सेवन देन फोर एट देन फोर नाइन वन बाई वन आई चेक एवरी पॉसिबिलिटी ओके लेट स्टार्ट विद ओ डी थ्री एट थ्री एट देन एस इज अलेवन ऑल राइट वन थ्री एट नाउ वन एस इज एल वन बी विल बी टू सो बी इज टू राइट डी वी हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन एट एंड ओ वी हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन थ्री right okay now d plus d3 plus 3 is 6 6 is also gone all right now y plus 3 has to be 8 y plus 3 has to be 8 the only possibility is y has to be 5 5 plus 3 is 8 so y became 5 but also see b is 2 and 2 plus 3 is also 5 5 5 Y is five and E is five. Both cannot be five because the basic, the first point itself was every letter has a unique value, and because every letter is unique, so Y and E cannot be five. Both of them cannot be five. Okay. So which means the assumption we have taken O equal to three and D equal to eight, that itself was wrong. we have to go back to that so let's go back to that and check the next possibility y equal to od equal to 47 let's start with that od equal to 47 let's start with that okay o is 4 d is 7 4 plus 7 is 11 1 Now once uh, s is one, b will be two, so b is two here also, and uh, o already we have taken four, 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 so because two plus four does not send a carry, so four plus four is definitely eight only. T is eight, all right, and uh, two plus four also. Okay, we'll think first whether it sends a carry or not. Now d also is seven because d is seven. Obviously, it will not be sending a carry. Because anything plus four cannot be seventeen. The only possibility is y has to be three. Got it. Got it. That's the answer. That's the answer. Got it. So second possibility itself got the answer. Now the, once again, I'm telling you, I'm repeating you. This is medium level question, easy and medium level. So we are getting in the second possibility. We are getting the answer. Sometimes you might not get it in second possibility. you might have to go on for third possibility fourth possibility fifth possibility but if you go on if you keep on trying one of them will definitely get you the answer okay so don't give up keep on trying keep on trying all the possibility okay all right let's go on to the next question This has come in Infosys few years ago. This question has already come. Given that i is equal to four, six plus six plus six is equal to nine plus nine. It has been asked twice. Once by writing six plus six plus six, and once they have given some other form like uh, nine nine plus nine nine is equal to five, something like that. Okay, so they have been. they have asked this in many forms they might change the letters they, they might replace this letter with something else but this question have been asked many a times okay let's try to solve it let's try to understand this they have already given i is 4 4 plus 4 plus 4 once again 4 plus 4 plus 4 and here also 4 plus 4 now the one logic you have to understand here is they are not telling 6 plus 6 is equal to 9 okay they are telling 6 plus 6 plus 6 is same sum as 9 plus 9 so this three number sum is same as this two number sum okay that's what you have to keep in mind the sum has to be same only here for this three and for this two the sum has to be same okay now a three number addition 
can send a maximum carry how much two only you might remember you might remember a three number sum can send a maximum carry two but it is possible that it can send two one or zero but zero is not possible because in that case the fourth digit the sum the sums four the first digit of the sum will become zero that is not allowed this one cannot be zero the first digit of sum cannot be zero okay so here it cannot send zero one or two one but if this one is one in that case what is n plus n can n plus n be half half not possible so the only possibility we are getting here is the sum is two and this is one plus one which means 3s was sending a carry plus two okay and this one was already four so four plus four eight now s plus s plus s has become 28 that is possible only when only when s was nine nine plus nine plus nine 27 plus one carry 28 so s is also nine only everything is found everything is found now the only thing which is left out is x plus x plus x is equal to e plus c so the only possibility will be 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 is equal to 3 plus 3 and you might be thinking some of you might be thinking it is also possible if 8 plus 8 plus 8 is 24 and 2 plus 2 is also 4 both ways 4 will come right but that is not possible because 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 if 8 plus 8 plus 8 is 24 it will send a carry plus 2 plus 2 and if plus 2 carry comes on i i i then plus 2 and 4 is a 12 12 plus 2 becomes 14 but then here it this becomes 4 in that case n plus n 1 plus 1 this can never become four this can never become four and because of that only we cannot send a carry and that's why this will not be allowed anything larger number any larger digit which sends a carry we don't need that and that's why the only possibility is two plus two plus two is six three plus three is six got it that's the answer i hope it is clear to everyone let's move on now i have taken few three examples from addition okay and also i'll tell you sometimes they'll write like this okay they'll write the question like this they'll write he it as they'll write it as a busted busted minus do is equal to scooby they'll write it like this but do not solve it like this because we have been practicing the addition logics. So do not solve it like this. You convert this question into an addition question. Bring do this side. And when you bring this side, do this side, it becomes addition because minus becomes plus. So this question itself becomes Scooby plus do equal to busted. Similarly, in this question, if they're asking instead of after plus two, if they're asking, yes, minus two is equal to after if they're asking this do not solve it like this do not solve it like subtraction convert this into addition means to bring the two in this side if you bring it in this side minus becomes plus so it becomes an addition question so convert the subtraction question into addition question and then you get the answer this question becomes easy okay let's move on to multiplication now now a few points in multiplication the basic point the last digit cannot be zero that point is still here also last digit cannot be zero that that basic logic is here also can't be zero and also every letter is unique that is also there so i've taken one example to make you understand last digit cannot be zero means j and b cannot be zero 
okay also anything multiplied by zero will always be zero second point anything multiplied by zero will always be zero now here this does not apply only to the digit it applies to number itself example 23 multiplied by 0 will be 0 0 okay and that's why if you find if you find j e into b is b b same digit here same digit here in that case b will be 0 because it is never possible with same any other digit. Even if it was one, even if it was one, uh, 23 into one becomes 23 only, it means same digit will come, not this digit getting repeated, okay? So if this number itself comes here, if this number itself comes here, that means A is one, because anything multiplied by one is the same number, but if anything multiplied by B is same BB everywhere, that means B is definitely zero. Understand this. If a number multiplied by B is BB, that means B is zero. But if a number multiplied by A is the same number, in that case, A is one. Understand the difference. Same number, A is one. B is getting repeated, B is zero. Every digit have to be zero, not only here. Every digit will become zero. And in that case, B is zero. Okay, let's move on. Next point is, even digit multiplied by five gives zero. Any even digit, sorry, I have, I have written it wrongly. So this one was supposed to be odd digit Odd digit multiplied by five gives odd digit only. One gives five only. One into five is five. Three into five is five. Five into five is, miss last digit I'm talking about, not the product, I'm talking about the last digit. Three into five is 15, means last digit five. Seven into five is 35, means last digit five. And nine into five is 45, means last digit is five. So if, if any number multiplied by five is five only, that means that number is odd digit. Odd digit multiplied by five will give five one. Okay. So in a question, if it is like this, if this, in a question it's like this, AB into B is equal to B here, same digit here. In that case, B can be five, and this has to be odd digit. Odd digit multiplied by five will give five. That is only when, only this one is B. If everything becomes B, that means, do you remember? If everything becomes B, that means B has to be zero, okay? So if only one digit becomes similar to this one, in that case, B is five and A is some odd digit. Okay. Similarly, if even digit multiplied by five, it gives zero. Zero into five is zero. Two into five is 10, means last digit zero. Four into five is 20, last digit zero. Six into five is 30, eight into five is 40, last digit zero. Okay. Okay, last logic here. Even digit multiplied by six gives the same digit. Even digit multiplied by six gives the same digit. Zero into six is zero. Two into six is 12, miss last digit two. Four into six is 24, last digit four. Six into six is 36, last digit six. Eight into six is 48 last digit eight. So any even digit multiplied by six will give the same digit as the last digit. All right.
Okay. Let's take this example to make you understand. As you can see, before solving this question, I've already explained, so you know the answer already. But before solving that, there are a few more points you have to understand. You might be thinking multiplication is very tough, but actually, most of the time, multiplication is easier than addition. Why? In addition, we have only addition logic. Only addition logic. Okay. But in multiplication, most of the time, we can multiply, we can apply the multiplication logic. And we can also apply the addition logic. We can also apply that. Okay. So here we can not only apply the multiplication logic, we can also apply the addition logic. So there are two logics which is there for us to help for, for the is, is there to help us. Okay. So this question becomes slightly easier than addition question. Okay. Now see here, here J multiplied by B is BB. Now, if this digit is getting repeated, that is only possible if B is zero. Okay. And J multiplied by A is J, same digit. That is only possible if A is one. Okay. Now J can be anything. J can be 24. 24 into 10 is 240. J can be 32. 32 into 10 is 320. J can be 34. 34 into 10 is 340. So there are many possibilities for J. So if they're asking this question, they will give you J equal to 3 and A equal to 4. Means they will give the value for J and E. Then only you can get the answer. Otherwise, there are many possibilities for this. And if they're asking you the script arithmetic question, there has to be only one possibility. And because there has to be only one possibility, which means they must have given you the values of J and E. I hope it is clear to all of you. If it is not clear, go back and watch it once again. Okay. Let's move on to one more example. I want to cover this before stopping. Now, let's apply the basic logics. Anything multiplied by zero will be zero. As you can see, the same digit is not getting repeated anywhere. So none of them are zero. DEC cannot be zero. So A, D, F, I, and also E, C cannot be zero. DEC cannot be zero. Apart from that, Okay, other things we'll see later. Next point. Anything multiplied by one will be one. But as you can see, ABC multiplied by D or E or C is not ABC anywhere, which means DEC, D, E, C cannot be one also. Okay. Now, the main possibility what you have to understand here is, main things you have to understand here is, See, most of the question in, in multiplication, if it is medium level or tough level question, it will be created by using the logic of five and logic of six, because this is where people get mixed up, people get confused. Okay, how to apply the logic of five and logic of six? What was the logic of five? Any, any odd digit multiplied by five will give us five. Any even digit multiplied by five will give us even digit. That is one logic. Six, even digit multiplied by six will give us even digit only. Okay, so this logic we have to apply here. So the first thing I observed was C into E is C only. How is that possible? Let me see this. C into E is C. Concentrate, okay? C into E is equal to C. How is that possible? One possibility is, one possibility is five, means C is five into E is odd digit, odd digit, not one, because if E is one, we already know E cannot be one. So not one, E can be three, seven, nine. So five into three, seven, nine will be equal to 
C5. But if C is 5, if C is 5, 5 into 5 was supposed to be 5 only. C into C was supposed to be C only. But we are not able to find 5 here. This is H, something else, which means the possibility of 5 into odd digit equal to 5 is eliminated. Eliminated, that is not possible. Then we go to the next possibility. What is that? C is even digit, even digit multiplied by E equal to 6, giving C equal to same even digit. That is possible. That's the only possibility which is going to help us. So C can be, C can be 2, 0 not possible once again, right? Because ABC into 0 was supposed to be CCC, 0 not possible. That's why I'm starting from 2, 2 or 4 or 8. 6 we cannot repeat because we are supposed to take E equal to 6 and then multiplied by this we are supposed to get again C equal to 6. Okay. All right. So let's start with uh, because we have to check the possibility, right? So we'll start with C equal to 2. Let's start with that first possibility. 2 into 2 is equal to 4. C is 2. C is 2. And once C is 2, and this is 6, this is also 2. All right. Also, B into C is G here. B into G is, B into 2 is G. Also, B is to C is equal to G. Okay. And also you can see if this is 6, is already 6, right? We have already got it. Is already 6. If A is already 6, think what to multiply in this to get 6? 2 into what will be 6? There are two possibilities. D can be 2. 2, 2, 2, 3, so D equal to D can be 3, 2, 3, 6, or D can be 8, 2, 8, 16. That is possible. But if you take D equal to 2, if you take D equal to 2 here, in that case, anything multiplied by 2, it will be very, very tough to get the same digit here. Like if I take 2 here, I can get four digit number A, C, A, E. But for that, A was supposed to become larger number. For example, A can be six, A can, A can be seven, A can be eight. But if A becomes eight, seven into two, 14, right? Here, A will not be eight. Here, it has to become smaller number, okay? Here, it has to be only one, not one. It can be only smaller number, okay? So that's why, because of that only, a has to be the smaller possibility, which uh, which is uh, uh, this has to be eight, and this one has to be a uh, three was not possible because a was supposed to be larger for that. A larger number into three will be a two digit number, so d can only be eight, so that it becomes easy. Smaller value of a will bring us this one. Okay, so this one has to be eight. All right, 2, 8, just 16. That is fine. So we got 8 here. Next, C has to be 2. Okay. Uh, now, to get uh, a two-digit number, uh, to get 1 here, wait a moment. To get uh, one here, see, we have got eight, six, two, we, have, we are checking this one, right? So C was two 
h was 4 g have not found it okay also see this is 2 this is 2 only when g has to be 0 there's no other possibility because there's no carry coming here so 0 plus 2 is supposed to become 2 g cannot be anything else and if g is 0 if you have found 6 in that case f plus a plus 6 has to be 10 that is only possible if if f is 3 and this is 1 or a is 1 and this is 3 f is 1 and a three. this only these two are possible but if you take f equal to 1 and a equal to 3 in that case here if, if we take uh, uh, f f equal to 1 and a equal to 3 in that case see this if f is 1 what is c then c cannot be anything else okay so the only possibility is uh, f is 3 so that c is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 and there is a carry here 2 plus 1 becomes 3 so that's the only possibility so we have 1 here a is, is 1 and uh, okay all right so this is so we have found a is 1 and g is 0 this much is found now okay and once this much is found now i have to think about a i i have to think about i so c 2 2 ja 4 uh, 2 6 ja 12 carry is 1 now what to multiply in 5 so that if i add 1 in that i get i get uh, 1 here that is only possible if it is 5 5 6 ja 30 plus 1 31 we get 1 here okay so that's the only possibility and once we have uh, 5 6 ja 1 31 3 is carry 1 6 uh, 6 plus 3 this is 9 okay so i is also found i is 9 now the only thing which is left out is uh, okay f also we found already so everything is found now got the answer this is the answer so this is how we apply the logic of c and logic of of uh, logic of 5 and logic of 6 okay let me just repeat why 5 was not possible because 5 into something can be 5 here 5 into odd digit can be 5 here but in that case 5 into 5 was also supposed to be 5 but because here this is h this is not c that's why it was not 5 and that's why we check the possibility of 6 equal to 6 and c equal to odd uh, even digit and we took the first possibility c equal to 2 and from that, that itself, we got the answer. All the answer came. This is how we apply it. So uh, we will stop with this. Next time when we meet once again, we will be covering more questions of uh, addition and more questions for multiplication, especially the question which has already come in Infosys. Okay. So thank you so much, guys. If you have liked it, please like, share, and subscribe the video and also to the channel. Thank you so much. All the best to all of you.